OpenAI has just dropped ChatGPT search. They've been talking about this for a while. This is the thing that they want to compete with Google. I'll tell you this, they are already offering and encouraging you to put up a Chrome extension in Google. So how's that for jumping over the fence and into Google's backyard to fight them right there in their own spot? but they are offering you to make this into their default search engine. Now, I wouldn't do it right now. I do want to, though, show you what I've already learned because there's some super cool stuff in here. There's some stuff that's kind of quirky, but ultimately there's a, a couple of things that they're not really talking about that I think are really, really cool. So let's dive in with a real demo here. All right, we are looking at ChatGPT search, this new thing. So first of all, you have to know that you have to be a paid user right now. Second of all, Look at what you're toggled on with the different models. So 4.0 is the standard version. If you have it in reasoning, you'll see that it gets grayed out. This is the little search uh, icon here. So you have to go back into 4.0. That's the way that you can do this. And you can say, look, search the web when you want to do it. So let's just ask it for, uh, hey, give me the uh, top uh, AI news right now, right? And let's see what it does, okay? So, but what you can do is you can hit search and then we'll hit that. And now here's the thing. First of all, you'll see that it had that, it started to show the icons of where it was pulling it from. That's huge. It's very much like perplexity. That's number one. Number two, it is blazing fast. So look at how sort of fast this has gone, right? But here's the other thing. Is this all really up to date? Yes, it actually looks pretty up to date to me, but you're going to want to check it. Now you notice that it's still on search. And so now again, it's going to watch carefully because right here it's going to search, but it's going to pull from all those sources. Now you can check them just like you could check them up here. Do you see that? How we could have pulled in here? Very much like perplexity. Very, very similar. OpenAI has uh, recently done this. What makes it different? Right, so because you want to see if it's up to date with all this kind of information. And now here's where it was running into problems before. Here's the problem, right? Enabling it from to do it right from the internet. But guys, it could already do that. So let's try this. This is wrong. Uh, fix this. And now let's see what it says, right? Searching the internet, right? It distinguished itself by integrating real-time web access, blah, 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 right? Guys, you see what happened here? It didn't correct it. Now, usually in ChatGPT, if you've done this before, it gets super apologetic. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. You are so right, Connor. I am so wrong. You have to go look, okay, where is it pulling these sources from? All that kind of stuff, right? But look, it's pulling it from back in July. You just have to make sure with the sources that it's up to date. Now, here's the second thing that I want to show you. Um, let's just start a new chat here. Uh, what's, uh, what is the best sushi sushi in NYC. Okay, just like a kind of a sort of a typical thing. Now look, again, it's searching all this stuff super blazing fast right away again. It's going to fill all this out. But now look, whoa, doctor, sorry, I didn't mean to zoom in there. But it also has an interactive map. It has like all these different things, shows you, etc. Now we can take from the sources. Do we trust these sources? So that's very cool. But here is the part that I really like. Uh, help me write a um, quick uh, workshop, so don't worry about spelling mistakes, for senior leaders on AI. Okay, this is a very typical chat GPT kind of question. So it's just going to give me this thing about search, and I mean, it's going to give me this workshop, okay? But let's just stop it for a second, and now let's try this again. And I'm going to do this again. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to ask it again. But this, in fact, let me just open a new window here. Let's start a new window. I'm going to ask it the same question. Now I'm going to hit search and see how it does it differently here. This is what I find so cool about this. Like it's going to also now uh, populate all of this. But the really cool thing is that you'll notice that it is going to pull from different sources about where it got its information. Watch this. See, look at this from IBM, how it got it, it got from Pluralist, it got it from uh, Broadhurst Digital, from McKinsey and Company, et cetera. Guys, how cool is that? It tells you under the hood where it got all this information from. Whereas if you remember on the other one, right? Let's just see over here. It didn't show you that. So that's very cool. It's almost like telling you how it thinks by using just the search function. And that is very different from perplexity. That's different from everything else. We are going to watch this one carefully. Okay, that was your demo. That was the new ChatGPT 
search in some ways I'm kind of like, okay, it's actually doing really well. It's just basically modeling itself after perplexity and no harm there. Perplexity is still the startup compared to open ad. But the really cool thing is when you use search for times where you're not used to using search. So for example, if you're asking it to brainstorm with you or come up with a new workshop or a model or something, if you use search, it's going to tell you where it gets the information from. How cool is that? That's what I'm excited about. This is going to be different. And by the way, again, you can have this for a Chrome extension uh, and replace Google search altogether. I'm not sure I would do that, but please check it out. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested in learning more about generative AI, I do have a digital course that I will put in the comments that I think think you might just love. All right, see you next time.